it was a life change for me, if I may say so. But in a sense, my life has always been about surviving uh, in, in a country that has gone through so much bloodiness and uh, exclusion and, 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 and prosecution. And I was like, I, I, I would get it through different perspective as a Kurd from a minority group, as a woman in a society, and as a woman who ventured in, in, in a male-dominated uh, field like engineering, you know. So it was not an easy path to take, and, and it was always associated with challenges and, and great difficulties. But then I think, uh, you know, I loved what I do. I have passion to, 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 toward contributing to people's quality of life by rebuilding their communities. Because Iraq is about destruction of communities. It's about destruction of identity. This is the history and the legacy of Saddam. And I found myself dealing with uh, families who, who had lost homes, who were displaced, who were refugees in other countries, who had lost their identities, who had to go back to their villages and build their house for the first time. So all of this is, yes, it's dealing with reconstruction programs, but it's a reconstruction that is generate, I mean, it's because of political solutions. And I found myself in charge of a big, huge program with a lot of money. And I felt for me to be able to, to influence decision making and policy making more, I needed to upgrade my skills. And from the basic engineering uh, degree that I have, I found myself in leadership positions. I found myself influencing people's lives, influencing policy at the government level, at the NGO's level. And it was very important for me to take that one year break and come and, and build further capacity within myself so that I can go back and, and have a more impact on my society in, in, in a better way, an enhanced way. Half of my learning, uh, I can attribute it to the people I met in the, in the, in the school. The best asset for the school is the, the kind of, the quality of people that it brings together. And by bringing these people together, you learn so much from them. You learn from about their country, about the same issue that you deal with in your country, but how is it dealt? So I'm getting so many free lectures from my own fellow students, and, and this was uh, very good. I think the one thing it also gave me, it gave me the confidence to go and fight the world. Women feel so lonely in, in, in leadership positions because normally they are alone, normally. And because it is so hard how the society looks at them and how their colleagues look at them. And then considering their own internal pressure of trying to do things good because they don't want to fail, because everybody will expect women to fail as a leader, but also because how important for the woman leader to succeed so that she paved the road for other women. And that was one of my internal always internal battle is I should never do any mistake because here I am opening the road for other women through my example. So it is a lonely job and it is a job that is, uh, comes with a lot of pressure, let alone the, the country pressure us. So being connected to, to people who, who, who I met through those conferences give me such a sense of empowerment that I'm not alone. You know, and this is so important for women in leadership position, in my culture especially, that they feel they are not alone.